And we have a very special guest in here for y'all today, Coach Carlin Hartman. So where are you from for the people that don't know? You know, even though everything's on Google, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, originally from Buffalo, New York. Uh, born and raised there. Ended up going to high school in the suburbs of Buffalo, Grand Island High School. And from there, played at Tulane University. Uh, after Tulane, uh, uh, played a couple years in the CBA, which is now the G League. Uh, you know, I mean, it was way even before me. I mean, a lot of guys got their teeth in the CBA. Coaches in particular, like Phil, Flip Saunders uh, was a great coach in the CBA, and he won a, a couple of CBA championships. Nice. And then he ended up going to the big leagues and coaching with the Timberwolves. Uh, Phil Jackson got his start as a CBA coach with the okay. Albany Patroons. Uh, back then, you played three sports. You know, in the fall, you played football. In the winter, you played basketball. In the spring, you played baseball. Right. And so, you know, I played all three sports. And then as I got older, I stuck with two. I, I dropped football because I got hit. I hit, got hit one time going across the middle. I was like, <laughs> I like my knees a little bit too much. <laughs> so that being said, uh, baseball was really uh, a first love of mine. We were, were really close to the Canadian border. So my mom would take me up to Toronto Blue Jay games uh, quite a bit. That's tight. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and so we were able to do that. And uh, uh, one of my favorite players was Dave Winfield. And uh, at the time, Dave Winfield was, if I'm not mistaken, still the only um, professional athlete to get drafted in Major League Baseball, uh, the NFL, and also uh, the NBA. Oh, uh, wow. So, yeah, he was a multi-sport guy. He was one of the first ones. Dave Winfield. Dave Winfield. I got to ask him uh, to get on the show. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get in contact with him, but that would be a great How Basketball Saved My Life content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, I was fortunate that, you know, I chose the right place because, you know, I did play a lot in my freshman year, um, made the all-freshman team in the conference uh, at the time, and, um, you know, I, I, I knew I made a good decision. And you went on, you went on to be, what, number 10 or a top 10 in scoring in school history? Yeah, finished 10th in scoring, I was in the top 10 in rebounding, and, and you know, when we, before um, our class of, of uh, in 1990 had gotten there, Tulane hadn't been to an NCAA tournament. By the time we left, we had been to two NCAA tournaments and two NIT teachers. Mm. And we had some very selfless guys. We played a, like a platoon system back then. Um, they had the starters and then they had a second group and it was kind of like a really cool national thing back then you know, we called the second group the posse oh yeah so, turn up yeah, <laughs> yeah so the posse came in and you know um, we, we were actually uh, this year we we're all going to go into the hall of fame at Tulane uh, you know, Congratulations, yeah, man! That's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's big. That's gonna be fun. Exclusive. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys don't get to go in the, uh, in the Hall of Fame until this show comes out. Uh. That way, it is an actual exclusive. <laughs> you said something very interesting. So right now, I'm a young coach, yeah. but I didn't know I wanted to coach sure. until the very end, when I was like, "How do I stay around the game? Yep. How do I? I mean, it makes me so happy. How do I stay around it?" but you knew while you were playing. Yeah. When did you know? I just, you know, uh, they put me in a lot of leadership roles. At you time. try and tell people how basketball does take you a long way just with the people you meet, yeah. all the connections you make. Like, even though you may not play, it still takes you somewhere just because of the people you meet. Well, and the, you know, one of the things I've always learned, uh, my mother gave me the best advice. She said, never ever burn a bridge. Uh, when I accepted the scholarship offer to Tulane and committed to Tulane. She made me call every school uh, that I wasn't going to go to. And some of the harder calls, the hardest call was to Niagara University at the time. Uh, they were right, I mean, like 10 minutes away from my home, and they really wanted me. Um, and I had to call Coach Armstrong, Jack Armstrong is his name. He's now the color analyst for the Toronto Raptors. Wow. And he, you know, was like, I really appreciate you calling. Um, you got good parenting, you know. Um, you know, nowadays kids will just send you a text, hey coach, I'm going somewhere else. Yeah. Right, or they, or they don't even say nothing. Or they don't you say find nothing, out you on just Twitter. find it on Twitter or <laughs> social media and uh, here's what it is. Talk to us about what goes into, you know, getting that talent when, you know, there are the likes of, you know, the Kentuckys of yep. the world, you know, the Memphises, North Carolinas. Because, you know, OU's making it to tournament after tournament, and that's not shabby. No, not at all. I mean, if we had had the tournament this year, this would have been uh, the seventh tournament in nine years. You know, and I think when they hired Coach Kruger, 
The previous uh, staff um, had some issues with uh, with the NCA, mm-hmm. and they hired Coach Kruger to come in, you know, clean it up, and you know, not just clean up the program, but also, you know, you know, win basketball games. And uh, yeah, he's done. And he's done it. He's done that. Um, you know, and it really is nowadays. Obviously, your blue bloods, your Kentuckys, your Kansases, your Dukes, North Carolinas. So, how has how has it been like for you to? Do you know coming in that they're NBA talent, or is that a thing that you guys figure out midseason stride? How how that come about? So okay, well, I came in after the Final Four year, and so I was not able to coach Buddy, and but his from everything that I understand and, and, and have heard. <laughs> but uh, I think Buddy's uh, deal was just more or less, you know, he w- he could have been a, a second round pick after his junior year. And so I talked about earlier about betting on yourself. He bet on himself. He said, you know what, I could be a first round pick. Right. So he comes back for a senior mm-hmm. year. Naismith played a year, sixth overall pick. You know? yeah. And then, so you ask about, you know, uh, a talent like say Trey. I think everybody in our program knew that Trey was going to be an NBA player. It was just a matter of when he was going to be an NBA player. Right. By the time we played TCU at home, it was an overtime game. Trey had 11 threes and like 10 assists. And I think at that moment, everybody was like, he's not going to be here beyond this year. Right. (laughs) You can tell, you can see, you know, if they have that it factor and so forth. I think. You know, on this current team that we had this past year, Christian Doolittle um, he, is going to be a guy that's going to end up being on the NBA roster at some point. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen this year or what, but I can almost guarantee you that he's going to be playing basketball in the National Basketball Association. I love watching him play. Like he's got a league game, yes, he league does. body. Yes. yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And the thing about him is – any, I think any opposing coach. Let's let's go back to a question I have for you. Yeah. You mentioned Buddy. We yep. we talked about Trey. Yeah. Who is the best shooter out of the two? I got my pick. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get your take, and then Tuan, you can give yours after coach. Yeah, I think they're both elite. Got a lot of people that want to get into coaching. I myself is one of them. Yeah. What message do you have for those guys who want to get started in coaching? I think the biggest message I can give would be...